Hello friends, Coach Bob with you today, and today we are unboxing a pair of boots. Yes, my new boots are here. You know, there's nothing more exciting than getting a pair of new boots. Well, maybe there is, but not at the moment. So let's check these darn things out. Revzilla was right on time, Johnny on the spot, and all that good stuff. Let's grab a box and move it on into the living room. All right, so let's unbox some boots and see what we got here. Um, now, these are obviously not going to be daily riding boots when you see them. Not to say that I won't wear them often while I ride. Okay. Anyway. Because I will be able to ride them, obviously. They're pretty fancy looking, huh? Man, them, them some big old boots. <laughs> I guess we'll see how well they fit on my feet. So as you can see, they are Alpine Star boots from the beautiful Alpine Star logo. What model are you asking? Yes, you're asking, of course. SMX Plus V2 Vented. We'll talk a little bit about them here in just a few minutes, but let's go ahead and try these things on and see what they feel like. Get rid of this. All right, so we got the unboxing done. Now let's go for a little motorcycle ride and talk about our, the initial feelings of wearing a full boot. You know, I no, normally don't wear a full boot. This is what I normally wear, just a small ankle boot. And you know, there is a dramatic difference between wearing something like this and wearing something like this. So if you're used to wearing something like this or a traditional shoe, be sure and check out the video that I'm gonna play right now of that initial ride. There will be a timestamp down below if you want to just fast forward to the end of the video where I'm gonna talk about the features that this boot has. All right, so enjoy the ride. And I'll see you back in the office here in just a minute. All right, well, as you can see, the, uh, the uh, old uh, garage is in disarray. Um, what we're gonna do, I uh, have the boots here. Uh, they did slip right inside the jeans really well, so they feel good. The 47 feels like the right size. I, I could possibly squeeze into a 46, but I think the 47 is going to be the right size. Yeah, until I make sure they're the ones I want. Yeah, I still have the tag on. She was making sure I didn't look too much like Mini Pearl. <laughs> For those who don't know Mini Pearl is, look it up, you'll know then. <laughs> the age of our audience, I think they know who Mini Pearl is. So we're going to crank uh, old Haskell up here. What I want to do is get a feel of what these things are like on the machine itself. Things are just in a total massive mess of disarray right now. And that is okay. Just like that. Let's see what these boots feel like. I do know they are a lot thicker than anything I've ever worn in the sole and in the heel. And they're a lot more heavy duty, armor wise. So when something is more restrictive in nature, you definitely don't want your first day to be on the track. So let's see what we got. You know what you have to do when you're riding a boot like this, honestly, what I'm experiencing here, you have to trust your muscle memory the uh, difficult part, really, for me, is the downshift and the upshift. I got a traffic jam in my neighborhood. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's okay. We don't need to be blasting off like a rocket ship anyway until the tires get a little heat in them. And until I get the... See, I missed a gear right there. You got to do it with conviction with these things on because you're really, like I said, you really don't feel that gear shift lever. Um, it's going to take a little, little adjustment on my, my feel here. But I do uh, like the extra protection afforded. And I told Coach Vic here recently that after reviewing some of the ankle and uh, shin and heel injuries that I've seen, um, not firsthand, so to speak, but just generally speaking, um, I wanted to get something that was going to afford me more protection. 
whether I was on the track or not on the track. Could you wear these when you ride a regular, you know, like a spider or whatever? You could. I don't really think it's necessary because you're not gonna, you're not really gonna low side on it. I mean, don't get me wrong, every bit of protection you get is good, so it would afford you more protection than what I normally wear. But uh, these are the boots, man. I, I think the uh, others would be too restrictive also in the uh, shin, calf area. I've been told that I have monstrous calves. I won't uh, bore you with showing them to you. I got a buddy of mine. He always picks at me because my calves are so big. We'll go bike riding and it's like, man. And I always tell him he had rickets as a kid or something, you know. <laughs> you know, the, the, the joke that's going around with all of my friends here lately, you know, it was used, used to be all of them made fun of my YouTube channel. Well, you know, who's going to watch this old guy? And, you know, you're riding a spider. You're an old man. And... You know, you, now you're talking about doing a track day, you're a geezer, and all that stuff, right? Let's see if we can do this without putting my feet down at all. Look at us. We're next. Come on. Oh, there we go. All right. But now, uh, we go places, and uh, every time we're talking or doing something, they go, Hey. This is Coach Bob. Uh, you may know him. He's, he's a big deal. He's a YouTube influencer with thousands of subscribers. <laughs> so that's been the joke now with all my friends. Um, it's gone from, you know, huh, let's pick on Bob to let's pick on Bob in a different way. But enough of that. Let's talk about these boots. Um, the feeling, the feeling in the heel in particular, very stable very secure I can still move my feet I'm gonna look down here I can still move but it is definitely um, much more stable and secure feeling within that heel that cup the, that's not how the, the little boots the motorcycle boots that I wear uh, predominantly it's not how they feel so I really do like the way they feel. Uh, I did get the vented version because most of the riding that I do is going to be in hot weather. And in the event of a cold day, um, it's really not going to be that big of a problem. What I am curious though... Whew, man, I'll tell you what, that shifting feels weird, guys. That is weird. You know, you want to do this. You want to look down and see where your foot is because you literally cannot feel that shift, that, that, that shifting lever. It's just there, and you know it's there. I feel it more when I downshift. In the bottom, the sole of my boot hits it because you always hit it with the sole of the boot, right? But that, that top part, the, the, it's thicker. And so you don't feel the shift lever on the top of your foot, whereas you normally do. But the uh, gear shift lever on the bottom feels normal. It's on the top. So I'm gonna turn around and hit those curves. We'll head back to the house. But this has given me an opportunity to, to decide on the size and see if this feels right. And it does. It could like analyze the, the shape of my foot and all that stuff. I get caught up, you know. Let me concentrate here a little bit. Oh yes. But the boot feels very secure. I think for anyone looking at these boots, and obviously once this video is posted, I will have more experience with these boots. I won't just do one ride in a, in a, uh, in a video. Get an idea on all of it. They're, but these are definitely not going back to Revzilla. They're not putting pressure on my toes. I also know that on a hot day when my feet swell up, I'm gonna need a little bit of room. So these are definitely the right size. So if you're a 12, you can order the 47 and feel very comfortable with that. I just got the black and white. Um, it, it's it's black with a, with the with the white piping over the top, just for a splash of contrast. I didn't get the red, white, and black, or the red and black. Nothing real flashy. And the next time we talk, we will be in the garage, and I'll be talking about the the features, the safety features of the boot. We'll go through all of the armor on it and all of that stuff. 
You hear Coach Vic in there yelling, she's a crazy woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the Alpine Star SMX Plus V2 Vented Boot. That's a mouthful, isn't it? The SMX Plus V2 Vented Boot. This is the this is not the top of the line Alpine Star racing boot, but this is the second from the top of the line. There are some differences that are worth your while if you're a professional racer. For me, this boot is the one. It has a high shin plate. It It is an ultra, ultra durable boot. It is vented. We're going to go through, uh, has the accordion stretch sequence here. Um, all of that. Going to be a reliable boot for you. I've had these a while. I've done a track day in them. I've ridden my Speed Triple, ridden my uh, Suzuki SV650X in these things, and I've ridden even on the Can-Am Spider. They are comfortable enough to walk around. However, they can be a little cumbersome if you plan on, on, on a touring day where you're out walking. I would recommend more the ankle type boot. But if you want the ultimate in protection, this is the boot for you. All right, so a couple of things that we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about in the internal portion here, there's a microfiber section. You can see right here that microfiber will absorb any stank you might have. And it also is very flexible. It doesn't, it doesn't um, have, have any real rub points in here. And the panels on these are perforated. There are little pinholes all the way across the front, all the way across the back that keep your foot cool in the summertime. Would these be great for riding in 20 degree weather, 30 degree weather? No, they wouldn't. Um, but they're no worse than any other boot that I've worn. And with a proper sock, you could do that. The flexing material here in the front and in the back allows for enough flex for the boot to be utilized, but not so much to where it compromises safety of your foot and your ankle. When you feel the inside of the boot, you can see that you have this armored portion here, but this inside of the boot that goes against you is very accordion-like and very stretchable. So it does give you a sense of confidence and comfort inside a boot that still provides you maximum protection. Again, the perforations on the boot with all of the TPU protection is absolutely top-notch. What you would expect from Alpine Stars. So putting the boot on, let's kind of go through that real quick. You've got a quick release strap. Very, very easy. You have an internal section that your foot slides into and there's a tongue in there. Once you get your foot inside that tongue, there is a pull string. You pull that tight, that inner portion now is secure around your foot. There's a Velcro piece attached here. That way you're not looking for that. Strings go inside the boot. The boot zips up. Then you have another Velcro piece at the top of the zipper that secures to that Velcro patch. Then this clamps in. Your foot is locked in. Just like that, that's how the boot works. Alpine Stars has what they call the multi-link protection. That's the way these pieces all connect together, all linked together. That provides the ultimate armor all the way around while giving you some flexibility and breathability. Nice, wide, powerful TPU protection all the way around the heel. You got a heel cup that completely enca encapsulates your heel. You have removable and interchangeable pieces of TPU. That way, if you get them scraped up a little bit, you can make them look good as new. Every connection in here is considered shock absorbing and vibration resistant. Again, the toe slider, the heel cup, they're all screw in and replaceable. The four foot lining on this is laminated with an open cell foam and for shock absorption, very breathable in the ankle, the leg. Again, these boots, for what they are, and I, I rode on an extremely hot track day, uh, they served me very, very well. Sole features a nice textured rubber for a consistent grip. Hi. <laughs> Hi. It appears that we may Hi. have a guest in there in our Hi. midst. Hi. Oh, I'm interrupting. <laughs> this is a boot. I've always wanted to interrupt when he was doing a video. This is a boot. It's Tell half, me about it. It's half black and half white. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's got soft cushion here and hard plastic, a hard toe, and it's got a cool little buckle right here. See that? Oh, the buckle. Look at that. <laughs> no Velcro. Anyway, how do you put your foot in there? Well, you have to undo this. Uh, uh, oh, wait. There is Velcro right there. L listen. Well, it's in there. <laughs> no, it's in there. You got to. Well, anyway, there's Velcro right there. Pull that. Okay, Coach Bob is really particular. Oh, it's got a zipper. Look, it has a zipper also. And all kinds of ties in there. Anyway, this is your, what's it called? The Alpine Stars SMX Plus. Alpine Star SMX Plus. You guys, you got to get it. Are they cool? Although I heard them talking in the other room that you don't want to wear it full time. <laughs> I wouldn't want to wear it full time either. And he's worn it everywhere. So anyway, there's your boot. I'm going shop. I'm going shopping today. <laughs> to have a good hair day. I don't know. I'm on a wide view and whatever view angle, but whatever. Will you buy me a present while you're out? He told me not to because you bought like thousand dollars in motorcycle gear already oh. for your Christmas present. Darn it. <laughs> for Robert's birthday. <laughs> anyway, I'm out of here. All right. Have fun. Have fun. Bye. All right. So there you have it, Coach Vic in here again. The uh, the hook and loop uh, straps and the uh, and the Velcro pulls to uh, secure your in the internal part for your foot. All of that works absolutely wonderful. The boot is quick on. It is quick off. Ultra safe. Ultra powerful. Ultra cool. It is a great boot. Comes in a variety of colors. Uh, I wear a size 12 generally in shoes, but I find that the Euro sizing. If you look at the Euro sizing on most of the things that you wear, it's inside on the tongue. If you're an, if you're the old American guy like me, and it just comes in an American size, look at the Euro sizing. Go with the Euro sizing on the boots. You're going to find that to be a lot more specific and it's going to be a lot easier fit for you. Uh, the Alpine Stars, I wear a 47 or a 12. That's what I'm wearing. 47 here, 47 here. I've got a new set of boots coming in, off-road boots coming in. They're also going to be a 47. That's how I do all of my Alpine Stars. Is it guaranteed to work for you? Nah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not but it works for me. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this quick little review and roundup of the Alpine Star SMX Plus V2 vented boots. Yes, they are the vented ones. You have the unvented if you want your foot to be a little more warm, if you're in those northern climates where it doesn't really get hot in the summer. But I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're riding on a track day, the vented boots are gonna serve you just fine. All right, so do me a favor, go out, buy the motorcycle of your dreams, eat right, Take care of yourself. And remember, if you're not having fun, you are definitely doing it wrong. And I'll see you on the road real soon. You go seize the day.